Every human being has a basic instinct to help each other out. If a hiker gets lost in the mountains, people coordinate a search. If an earthquake levels the city, people all over the world send emergency supplies. This instinct is found in every culture, without exception. At around 4.30 a.m., our satellites detected a storm approaching the Ares-3 mission site on Mars. The storm had escalated to severe, and we had no choice but to abort the mission. But during the evacuation, astronaut Mark Watney was killed. <laughs> I'm entering this log for the record. This is Mark Watney. And I'm still alive. Obviously. I have no way to contact NASA or my crewmates. But even if I could, it would take four years for another manned mission to reach me. And I'm in a hab designed to last 31 days. So, in the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Okay, let's do the math. I gotta figure out how to grow four years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, none of this matters anyway. Houston, be advised. We've got a video message. It's directed to the whole crew. Play it. Mein Gott. <laughs> Mark Watney's still alive. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. We left him behind. Let's go get our boy. This is something NASA rejected. So we're talking mutiny. And if we mess up the supply rendezvous, you die. If we mess up the Earth gravity assist, we die. It doesn't cooperate. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's going to go south on you. And you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Is it possible that he's still alive? Hi there, I am Commander Melissa Lewis. Dr. Chris Beck, flight surgeon. Uh, my name is Alex Vogel. I am a German astronaut.